Hi guys, I'm super excited today. I upped my production a little bit. I listened to your feedback. Let me know in the comments section if everything is okay and let's get to the table. So first of all, as you can see, camera is back and it will be back. I just got a new camera. And with this game, I kinda want to share the same sentiment as in the title. Uh, quality over quantity. Basically, I want to produce better videos for you guys uh, with the videos that I'm proud of. And this is also a game where it's quality over quantity, but you will see that in a second. So here, Babylon, pretty exciting um, stuff here. Um, we are favored in this matchup, but it doesn't mean that it's always an auto win. So I think this demonstrates quite well how to make sure that you win those matchups. And let's just get to it. Uh, I think uh, this is a very interesting cho wonder choice for everyone at the table because I think everyone can go A or B depending on what other players go for. I think Rodos kind of has to go A here if he has the hope of stopping me on the green. Um, meanwhile, uh, for Olympia, obviously, the, the B side is maybe not so great if, if Rodos is going A, so I think he should go for the A side, and then for me, it's really a toss-up. I think like both are fine. I decided to go B just because I think it's safer. The A is just more of the green explosive side or uh, red. But with Rodos here, uh, this can get tricky. As you can see, he chooses B as well. I don't mind this, to be honest. I think it's also a decent choice. So the starting hand is not great, uh, as you would imagine. There is no gray, there is no dual, and... Uh, I don't know, maybe maybe we would like to see stone over Claypool, to be honest. So I decided to go for a trading post. I um, decided to point the trading post to Olympia. The reason uh, for that is that I don't want Olympia to point to Rodos. That's very tricky, but if you think about it, it actually makes sense, I think. Uh, I, I spent a long time mm, deciding, because normally I would trade to Rodos, but if I trade to Rodos, Olympia probably trades to Rodos as well. And I don't want Rodos to get the cash flow from both of us. So I decided to go for the trading here. The danger is that Rodos might still trade to Olympia, but I think it's better than the other way around. And hopefully you cannot hear my neighbor music. I really hope you don't. Uh, so this is the hand that's much better, but it's at the same time very tricky. Uh, we can go for Glassworks or Loom and the Workshop, or you know we can just try Stokade. I don't think we are fighting red that much in this one, so I decided to go for the green and just for the Glassworks, just because it's safer for our last stage. And we have Workshop here coming. I'm, sh I'm sure it will get to us. Maybe not so sure after that pick, but, but you know, still pretty sure. Uh, here I decided just to go press. I'm looking pretty good on green, so why not, why not just, you know, capitalize on it? And this hand, I decided to go for barracks. Um, I think that's a mistake. I thought that... Um, my, my thought process was that I will barracks, then I will archery range of the... Um, of the... Um, of the green and I will just you know maybe beat Olympia and maybe do like half red half green I think that's a false logic here I, I think that's a mistake uh, what I should do probably here is just Claypool I think that's that's the best pick here but worth noting it's 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 not all bad by stealing one of the reds I'm with like how the resources are looking right now there is a strong chance that they will draw with each other two rounds in a row, uh, both in H1 and H2, uh, because with Rodos being on the A side, he's likely to get five, and Olympia with double red, that he's likely to get, looking at his resources, uh, also gets five. So um, 
getting rid of this barracks is not bad, but probably it's better maybe to throw this uh, than, than play it. But I think it's Claypool here. But I don't didn't want like the reason why I play, didn't play Claypool is I didn't want to give Rodos access to this right now and to give Olympia access to this. But again, I think it's false logic. So here I think most top players would play Stokade. Uh, but I disagree here. I think if we are playing Stokade here, uh, we have no hope in the second round of getting um, much red. Like we would have to pay Olympia here. Okay, th that's playable maybe. Uh, that's playable, but th that's very risky. If we are like if if they pick both reds, uh, not the the walls one, uh, I think we are screwed. So I decided to go for the safer route with the workshop. Uh, but to be honest, my picks here don't make uh, much sense. They are not, not coordinated. Like, um, Barracks is okay pick, but not if we are going Workshop. And Workshop is an okay pick, but I shouldn't pick the Barracks, probably. So here I just made a mistake, but here uh, an easy scriptorium. We are still looking okay. Like, th this still g gave us two points versus everyone. Uh, but it's not great. And this hand is not great either. And you can try to all-in on, on green from this hand. Uh, you can try... I would probably go for the school here. Um, over our library. If I'm all inning. But I decided to go for the quarry. As you can see, um, we, we might have troubles getting to this stage. And I think given how much we invested already, we should probably... Uh, do something with it. This is this is like a choice. Be, be like this is uh, this is quantity and this is quality. And I decided to go for the quality this time with the with the quarry as well. Maybe I can also like you know threaten walls or aqueduct or get paid for that. And this is again a hand where. I can possibly try to all in, like I can uh, laboratory and then get the dispensary on their way back. Mm, but I, I even have this stage, right? But I decided that I will be unable to continue this game at uh, a reasonable pace uh, with my current economy because I would probably need to throw or, or do stuff like that. And with the brickyard, I'm kind of uh, keeping myself myself safe. Uh, for the future, for the reds, uh, for, for what comes from the dispensary, the lodge uh, that you will see on the screen costs two brick and uh, press and the, um, the cloth. The problem is getting to the cloth, so uh, I will hopefully get it on the next hand. So here, uh, I, I think it was on my first hand, not, not this one. Uh, so here I uh, just go uh, with. Well, I don't remember what I pick here. Okay, I yeah I do. It's possible to go court house. It's possible to vineyard. Both of these are perfectly fine. Um, but I thought that I'm in trouble right now. Like the the green spread was not. It was not bad, but it was not great for me. Like I I just decided to go for the safer play. So I decided to punish uh, Rodos. Um, he cannot access his fourth stage, which is pretty important to him. Uh, much more important than the second stage of, of Rodos on the B side. This is actually one of the things that make Rodos weak. Like if I believe, strongly believe, that if he has three ores here, Rodos A would be played much, much more. But I digress. Uh, here I decided to hide Foundry, of course. And as you can see, this is my first hand. And you might see, uh, you might wonder what happened to the two green cards that were there. And I was counting on one of them being back. Uh, I thought that that's not that unreasonable. Uh, but of course, one is hidden here and one is hidden there. Uh, so this is an easy loom. And my resources are looking pretty good, uh, but my points are not. Here, this is an easy temple, and of course, another uh, green is hidden here, so that's a total of three greens hidden, just in the second era. So I thought that 
they are kind of targeting me. Uh, I I don't mind, but but they are. Let's let's be honest about that. And they should like they should uh, target me to some extent. I think that was a little excessive, but you know, uh, it will happen. It will happen, of course. Uh, so here, hmm, this is just card house, of course, and throw probably. Uh, but what's funny is that uh, Olympia here. Using his ability, like he was able to access that, but using his ability, he gets the walls, and it's 5 5. And that's a very good news to me. Uh, you might remember me saying that they are likely to draw, and probably you already guessed that it was a foreshadowing. So, um, so that's how it is. I think I'm, I think this is still like my, me justifying the weak pick bar. I, I still think barracks was a mistake. Uh, so here, um, I decided to like, as you can see on points, I'm last uh, by a mile right now. Even if you count that I have a, like additional pick and that this additional pick will give me eight points uh, right now. To be correct, seven points, but because I'm paying one, and I'm I'm still like last over them. I I'm still in a lot of trouble. And my saving grace here is my economy. Uh, it's just because of the of the grays. I always say that with browns you will get paid uh, early. With grays you will be paid in the third age. Uh, so that's how it is. And I'm able to steal the, their picks. That's that's my only plan for for the third age. And I think a lot of the time third age is just seeing what happens. Here actually this is this is quite the opposite. This is me realizing. Uh, not realizing, um, executing my, my strategy in the third age. So, Pantheon. This is a good pickup, obviously. This is a mediocre pickup. And I was so happy to see this hand. Uh, this hand is, is excellent for me. Mm, this hand is um, a little bit of a punishment for them, hiding so many greens. Uh, because I pick Builder's Guild here. And what do they pick? Like, uh, does he go for the Spies? Does he go for the, for the Wonder Stage? Not really sure what what what's what's happening here. And again, some of the picks are are so bad for them that they prefer to to play the reds. I think this is a huge mistake, but it's okay. Here I was going to mm, steal traders because I was afraid that this guy will play it. And traders is just excellent for me here, so I just decided to go for that. He does play spies. Which is made a little better, but my by my bad barracks pick <laughs> here, of course, town hall. As you can already see, we are just making sure that they have nothing, and they have like uh, this is just a mistake, right? He should throw from this, but desperate time calls for desperate measures. Uh, here, I I just go study instead of the academy because you know I still have a wild, so I just uh, pick the free one because it doesn't matter. More red. And here I just gardens and wonder stage. Oh, uh, actually, that maybe made sense with the with the observatory. He got some picks in the end, and he won the red, uh, and that's why he's second, not not third here. Uh, Rodos, uh, obviously, I targeted him a lot with just this precise um, hide. And that was pretty unfortunate for him. But, you know, overall, a pretty clean win, um, just setting this up for, for victory here. I was pretty proud of this game. Um, despite my some of my questionable plays, uh, let's call it that, I think I managed to turn it around. And this is my favorite way to, to play the Babylon on the night side, just, you know, being kind of patient, like setting yourself up for the future goals. And that's also uh, what I want to do with my channel. And there you have it, guys. Let me know how you like it in the comment section. Uh, if you're already there, please subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much if you have subscribed and commented in the past. I really don't think I appreciate you guys enough. Uh, we've built an excellent community here, and I'm very, very thankful for that. And this is one of the reasons why I want to, you know, keep pushing, keep improving, and keep making content for you. Um, one last thing, 
you will see on their screen um, one of the hands that I played during my Twitch stream. I also uh, stream a little bit more on Twitch during European evenings, usually on the weekend, but in the week as well. You will just have to watch out for that. Um, this hand that you uh, are seeing right now is very exciting. This is between two great players, um, GOG and ED. Uh, excellent players, um, free player game. This is second hand. I'm on purpose not showing you the first hand. But please tell me in the comments, what would you pick here? This is like a riddle for you. Please make arguments. Why would you pick that over, over that? And I'm just very curious to, to see your response. See you guys in the next one. Bye.